Okay guys, in this video, we are going to try out how to use triple or even five Bollinger Band to plan for your trade. So basically, in this today's video, we are going to use Bollinger Band, maybe a supportive indicator for MACD as a support to plan for our momentum trading. So let's start. First of all, as a disclaimer, this tutorial is for educational purpose only and does not contain any constitute financial advice. And this indicator used by today's video, we are going to use triple Bollinger Bands by time flies. Later, we will try out this indicator with an optimized setting and we will add additional indicator to support as a, for this indicator. Lastly, we will try out to the trading and find out its profitability vs its loss using this indicator. This indicator later we will make sure our list real position is more than one for our strategy so that we can plan for a bias trade reward. As for tutorial insights, basically trader use triple Bollinger Bands in various ways depending on their trading strategy. First, they want to determine the trade trend following. Next, they want to determine the mean revision. Basically, it can show us for overbought and oversold condition. It is biased and to a uh, extreme value in the bands. Basically, it shows a uh, overbought and oversold signal and also condition. Lastly, it shows a breakout strategy if some of the breakout trader will use it to indicate the breakout when the price movement beyond the outermost band. Basically, it indicates a strong momentum move. And this is how we can use Bollinger Bands to plan for our trade. So let's start. First of all, I have opened out the Bollinger Band indicator. You can go to the indicator step and search for Bollinger Band. Cheaper Bollinger Band. Basically, you can open this indicator by time flies by and open out the indicator for Bollinger Band. After that, you have opened out the indicator. You can customize the indicator by going through the setting. So basically, the Bollinger Band, you can customize the value of the Bollinger Band and you can set your setting. For example, you want to have a more higher multiply or the length to decrease to a more sensitive if you are trading a shorter time frame you can decrease the length of the Bollinger Band to have a more sensitive and a more ATR value using the Bollinger Band and also you can customize the style and visibility of the Bollinger Band and next if you want to learn more of this Bollinger Band So basically, you can just go to the settings tab and search for the script of this indicator. You can go through the indicator as shown by this and it shows the definition and details on this indicator. You can go through this by yourself. So after that, you open up the indicator. You can add additional indicator to support. For example, you can use MACD to support for your indicator. So this is how you can plan for your trade. For example, we can study for the chart. So for example, this one is stands on the top of the yellow indicator. Means that this indicator shows a strong support for the chart and the chart is going for a strong bullish momentum when the MACD shows an increasing in MACD histogram. So basically this yellow line shows the support so basically yellow line is equal to intermediate support so yellow line shows the intermediate support for the chart and after that when it breaks through the support you can plan for a short term momentum trade so for example at this area you can plan your trade to the nearest Bollinger Band so basically for the cut loss, you can plan for the previous area and you can plan for, for example, I set my target profit to a Bollinger Bands area. 
So basically, it touches the next Bollinger Band as a resistance. And for the cut loss, I set for my cut loss from the previous candle. If you study this candle, you can see that the candle shows uh, maybe a doji will form if they combine these two candles. You can customize these two candles. So basically, as you can see, because this one, the upper side for closing is green. And this one, the opening side for close the for red is red color. So basically, it will show a tail doji. And this is how I can plan for my trade with a risk reward ratio for 5.11 for a short term momentum trade using Bollinger Band. So basically, Bollinger Band it shows the support and resistance, temporary immediate support and resistance if you are trading using Bollinger Band. And if the chart is at a strong momentum breakout to a higher side out of the range of the later, latest Bollinger Band. Basically, it will show a very strong term momentum if we break through the outer most higher momentum. So basically, you can plan if you have a strong breakout. And let us study for our next scenario. So basically, first this scenario shows a increasing and a reversal of MACD from red to green. Basically, it shows a strong momentum. So. If you want to plan for a short term trade at this area, so basically it shows a breakout in yellow line, and the yellow line will show act as an intermediate support to plan for your trade. For example, you are trading at this position. So let me draw this this candlestick you are planning for your trade. So basically, you can set the position as histogram still shows a uh, increasing in momentum. You can plan for an uh, increasing long-term position, for example, this. And the cut loss will be at the histogram area. And also the take profit price, maybe you can set a higher price. So basically, as you can see, you can set the price using the histogram X as a support and system. You can plan for your trade. So basically, Histogram Fibonacci can act as a support resistance if you are planning for intermediate support resistance. And if you want to have a maybe overbought and oversold signal strategy, so basically, for example, at this area, it touches the higher side of the Bollinger Band, means that it have a very strong, com strong momentum will go down as a act as a downtrend so basically maybe you will rest for few times may before it going back to its momentum basically at this area it reached the upper outer side of the Bollinger Band so that you can plan your trade for a short position temporary short position and also for the MACD it shows a downtrend in green color and also it shows a reversal in red color so basically at this area it touches the outer side and it reaches back for the secondary candle as shown. So basically, it will show a downtrend have go back to its position. So basically, as a Fibonacci, basically it helps to determine the price range in the chart. And if it passes through, it will show a different signal. And if it touches at the upper side, basically it will show the range. It touches the upper side and it will be a very strong resistance towards the chart so basically this is how you can plan for your trade so you can try out and make sure that you backtest any types of indicator study and not all indicator makes 100 percent profit you need to study and optimize your best strategy and use the correct risk reward projection to plan for any trade in your trading wheel journey so yeah basically that's all for today's video thank you